Hi, this is Hector Garcia. I want to show you an app called AR Collect, A R C O L L E C T dot net. AR Collect is an app that adapts to your QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online, or QuickBooks Enterprise. It integrates and extracts all of your invoice and account receivable information in order to give you full control and flexibility on the process of managing receivables. Now, right here on the screen, you see an AR aging summary. This is pretty much the homepage of AR Collect. You're gonna see all the customers on the left-hand side, right there on the left-hand side column, and you're gonna see all the balances owed uh, organized in columns based on how late the invoices are. So all the current invoices will be on the first column, all the invoices between one to 30 days late will be on the second column and so forth based on the intervals. You can actually adjust those intervals by clicking on adjust periods. And let's say for example, that I only wanna see one to 90, 91 to 120, and then 121 uh, plus, for example, let's say 121 to 150, and then 151 plus, let's do it like that. And then I'll click on, let's do 365 here, and I click on save, and then you get to see all of your intervals and they get readjusted and reorganized based on however exactly you measure your accounts receivable. So every business will have different ways of working, but most uh, businesses organize it based on 30 day intervals, zero to 30, 31 to 60, and so forth. So that's uh, in a nutshell what it looks like when you first log in. Now, some of the really awesome things you can do here, which you can't do in QuickBooks so well, is you can click on any of the specific customers and let's say you call the customer or you email or text the customer and say, hey, where's where's my payment? And they said, um, you know, call me next week when, when the boss is here. So we're gonna put in the notes, call next week when boss arrives. Whatever is in the notes that you took, you click on save and then basically those notes get saved into this last contact note section. And that could be very uh, useful, especially if you got multiple people inside the company collecting on the same customer to make sure that you don't have two, three people duplicating efforts and calling the same customer to get the ex same exact uh, piece of information. So that really helps you uh, keep a control of what's going on with your receivables and also uh, organize yourself to see who should I call, who gets a priority, and so forth. Now, some of the really awesome features about this is sending quick email reminders. I would probably say the most po the most powerful feature of AR Collect is sending email reminders. Now, you can do email reminders in different ways. For example, I can specifically select the customers I want to send reminders to. So, I'm going to put um, a little check mark here on the email section, and then I'll put another check mark here on the email section. And I'm specifically choosing two customers that I want to send an email reminder. So I'm gonna click on the top right of the screen where it says email selected customers, click on that, hit okay. And then AR Collect will email them to and a reminder basically, hey, um, you know, you should pay this invoice. Now, the contents of that email, though, that can be edited to, uh, in the template section. So if I go to email setup and then I click on email templates, I have up to seven templates I can choose from. So I can have some templates that have friendly reminders. Hey, you know, maybe you forgot to pay your invoice. Here's what you owe. Please, uh, you know, send the payment. Or you can have a, 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 a note that's a little bit stronger saying, hey, by the way, you're already 60 days late. You're, you're running a risk of us shutting down your services, right? Or you can have one that's really harsh that says, hey, we're about to send you to collections if we don't get payment or at least 50% of what you owe by Friday. So you can actually edit all that text here in the template section, and then you have up to seven you can choose from. So for example, here under template six, I call this one collections email, and I added one note here that says, if you don't send payment by the end of the month, we'll shut down your service, okay? So that's really up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it yellow. That's really up to you if you wanna do something like this, but that's exactly uh, the point, that you have complete control over you know, how these reminders get uh, sent. I mean, let me go back to AR aging summary. So again, I pick the customer that I want to email. I hit my drop down to now select the template that I want to choose, select the template, and then I click on email selected customers. And then now that customer will get a reminder of, uh, of, of their open balances, including that particular note 
from the templates. Okay, now I'm going to show you real quick in the email. I did a test to see what that looks like. And this is basically what it looks like. Whatever the text we had from the template, any additional notes, and then you have a table that shows you invoice number, amount, uh, when it was due, all that information, and that will be summarized per customer. So if you got a customer that owes you three, four, five invoices, one reminder will contain all of them, which is actually a lot better than in QuickBooks when you send uh, yeah, email reminders, when you manually send emails in QuickBooks, you can only really do one at a time. So if a customer owes you three, four, five open invoices, they're gonna get four or five emails. So what's nice about this is this can summarize all the open um, uh, invoices into one single reminder. Now, better than the manual reminders, we can set up automated reminders. And that's really where the most powerful piece of the software comes in. So here where it says automatic email, which is currently off, I'm gonna click on that. And it will take me to a screen letting me know, okay, would you like to uh, batch some of the these uh, customers? And you can actually choose, look, any customers that's more than 20 days late, click on save, and it gives you a list of all the customers that are currently 20 days late. And by the way, that could be dynamic. You click on this little checkbox that says, turn on automated email. And then you don't have to do anything at that point. Now it's saved. So no matter what, um, every so often when uh, customers fall into that night, uh, 20 days past due, this system will automatically send them a reminder saying, oh, by the way, you are uh, past due in your invoices. Now from this same screen, I could also click on send now and hit OK, and that will send it to all the ones that are currently 20 days past due. So this tool gives you two things. One is figure out how many are past due of a certain uh, number of days and click send and send them all a reminder or just uh, keep them here and then every single customer that's there will get that reminder. Now there's a place where we can go to uh, specifically exclude the ones that we don't want to get these reminders because we know we may have a specific subset of customers that will get really mad if they get reminded so, so often that they're gonna pay and we just know they're gonna pay so maybe we wanna uh, get him off that, off that list. So I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> so let me click on air aging summary again, just to show you a couple other things. So here where it says email options, a little button here to the right, email options. You get to actually uh, choose some, some additional settings that you may wanna turn off and on on this uh, automatic email system. So for example, we can click on attach invoices and that would actually include a PDF of the original invoice from QuickBooks. You can actually say, look, only attach invoices that are more than, let's say, $10 or $20 or $100. Maybe we don't need to attach uh, all of the invoices, just those group. We can also click on exclude current invoices. That basically means that on, a, on a, any specific reminder that could include some old invoices, we can say, you know what, just don't include the, even though the client's late in some invoices, don't include the new one. So you have a lot of awesome uh, flexibility just within this screen. Now, if I scroll down a little bit more, uh, here it says select customers that will not be emailed. So I can, as I mentioned earlier, let's say I got three specific customers that, again, they will get really mad if I put them in an automatic email reminder. I can just basically check them. And the ones that I check on this screen will not get automatic email. So that's actually a really uh, a really a strong uh, feature that gives you a lot of flexibility on how you wanna manage that process. Now I'm gonna go back uh, for a second here where it says display customers with invalid email address. I'm gonna click on display. This gives me a list of all my email, all my cust uh, customers from QuickBooks that may not have a correct email address. So for example, we got this one called West Coast Distributor. I'm gonna go into my QuickBooks online real quick and I'm gonna search the customer to see what's going on. And this is all pretty much uh, real time as you, as you add it in QuickBooks, it's ready to be imported into AR Collect. So I'm gonna look for this one. Let's say wholesale district business. And I'm gonna click on edit, edit, and this one doesn't have an email. So I'm gonna put here wb at gmail.com. I'll click on save. Then I'm gonna go back to AR Collect just to make sure that we're seeing here wholesale business. It's on my list of invalid emails. I'm gonna click on refresh data up here on the top of the screen. And then after you refresh the data, you will see that you no longer see that customer as an invalid email address list. So basically this also gives you the ability to check which customers 
are missing email addresses for the purpose of being able to set up any sort of automatic email system. Now I'm back in the AR aging summary screen. I want to show you a cool, a couple of cool nifty features they added to this uh, tool. So let's say, for example, I have a specific customer in which the email that's in QuickBooks is not the correct one. And for the purposes of reminders, I want to maybe send it to an alternate email address. So I basically just click on whichever customer it's here. I'll click on this little checkbox that says use an alternate email address. And then I'll put here AR at gmail.com, whatever it happens to be. And then I click on save. And basically for the purposes of sending reminders via this app, it will not use the email from QuickBooks it will actually use the email inside AR Collect. So that becomes something that's uh, very, uh, very useful, especially because the original email may go to one person, but the, re the reminders go to a different person. Now I want to show you a little bit more navigation in the screen. There's a couple uh, cool little things here. So on the top of the screen, I can click on only show the ones that are one to 90 days late. So I click on that and that will filter the data and only show me the customers that are between one and 90 days late. And I, and again, I can adjust that period. I can click on adjust period and make it one to 30 or something like that. Right. And then I click on save. And then basically that filter will only be for the ones that are one to 30 days late. There you go. There's an update on my filter. And then that will show me all the ones that are one to 30 days late. So that's actually a really interesting filter. I can focus on maybe the ones that are not super late, but they're running at risk or the ones that are starting to become late, or maybe I just want to, you know, call on the current one. So I have complete flexibility filter wise in terms of, you know, which ones I want to show. Now I'm going to go back and select all aging buckets again. So I shows everything. And then the second filter, I can actually choose whether I want to choose active and active customers, that type of information. I can click on export and it will export my entire AR aging uh, list into a uh, into a file that I can open in some other way or manipulate in any other way. And, um, and that's it. That's really it for this screen. Now let's explore what I, what I really like, which is how the reports. So I'm going to click on reports and click on customer listing report. Now customer listing report is basically a list of all my customers, company name, contact email, and phone number. Now, if I click on contact notes summary it would be sort of the same list of customers but it will contain the last note that we added into the, into the customer. So if we call them and they said call tomorrow or, or speak to a specific person, uh, that's in there and that can be exported into Excel, PDF. There's actually a lot of uh, formats here for export, so you can uh, you manipulate them in other ways uh, if you need to. So that's an, something that's really interesting as well. Now you can have multiple agents uh, working on, on, on AR Collect, as I mentioned earlier. So here where it says uh, settings, I can click on manage users and I can create multiple users that have access to the system. That way we can have multiple people adding notes, multiple people uh, doing things with customers. That way we basically know who spoke to the customer and and the notes about that conversation. Now, another report that I really love, um, it's uh, the promise to pay report. So right now I haven't added any promise to pay, but I'll show you that in a second, but I'm going to click on a PTP report and that will show me all my customers, including their promise to pay dates. It's a very unique uh, feature of this app. Again, one of the favorites. Let me go back into my AR aging summary. And once I'm in the AR aging summary report, Actually, I can actually click on any specific dollar amounts that belong to any of these customers. So I can click on any specific dollar amount and it will give me a list of all of those open invoices. Now, next to each of those lists, there's a little um, a column that says PTP amount, PTP date and edit all edit PTP. When I click on that, PTP is actually an acronym for promise to pay. So these are the situations where you speak to a customer and they say, yes, check is in the mail, <laughs> the classic, right? Check is in the mail, or I'm going to go ahead and uh, send you a payment on Friday, or I'll call you Wednesday with my credit card so you can process payment. Now, PTPs are really important because they create actionable um, events for your AR people, and they need to make sure they follow up with it because the customer is telling you that they're willing to pay. You may just have to do a little bit extra work, follow up, and that sort of thing. So with the PTP, it has a, a couple of... Uh, reasons, predefined reasons here. We can just click promise to pay. And there's a couple there, check them out. You'll see that they're pretty interesting. 
And then I can put, okay, my customer said they're gonna pay me on October 27th on Friday, and they're gonna pay me, let's say, $8,000 off the full invoice. So they can actually promise to pay a smaller amount and I can click on save. Okay, and we'll do one more promise to pay. So I'm gonna select another dollar amount here. I'm gonna click on edit PTP. And then I'm gonna say that they promised to pay on the 19th, the full amount, and I'll click on save and then close. So now I got two pro promise to pays in there. Uh, and you will notice that this uh, there's a column here called total PTP, letting you know that we've had some amounts in promise to pay. Now what's nice about this is we can actually start predicting our receivables or cash flow based on these conversations we're having with our customers with the promise to pay. So if our customers are pretty good at saying, hey, I'll pay you by this date, uh, the ones that do say that they can pay you, you can use the total PTP as a predictor of your uh, upcoming cash flow. So back into the reports, I'm gonna click on reports, PTP report, and now we should see those two transactions that were set up with promise to pay and the amount, and again, this could trigger another event but for, you know, for your AR team to work on the customers. So a couple of uh, kind of uh, thoughts about this. So one of the things I like about AR Connect is it's simple pricing. It's uh, as of the date of this video, is $30 a month for QuickBooks Online users and $40 a month for QuickBooks Desktop users. And it doesn't go up and down based on users or based on volume. So I like that because a lot of apps have that sort of system. The other thing I really like is you can have multiple people inside an organization managing your open invoices and your receivables without having to give them access into QuickBooks. See, AR Collect only gets data from QuickBooks and it sits in AR Collect. It can't push any data into QuickBooks. So if you have a, a fairly large organization, a medium-sized organization that has two, three people working receivables and you want them to have access to all this fundamental information like name, phone number, address, invoice amount, but you don't want them to be inside QuickBooks doing things, this is an, a, a great uh, a system for that. Now, even if the users themselves have access to QuickBooks, it's also nice to have a place to put notes, structured uh, events and, and, and dates, so then you can pull reports and again, you can prioritize and, um, and work your collections in an organized manner. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and try the app. It's got a, I believe it's a 15 or a 30 day trial, arcollect.net. Thank you.